In the galaxy, every species expanded the same way. You get to a new planet, build the minimum required to claim it, and get to the next planet, rinse and repeat. This has resulted in massive empires expanding akin to webs, where planets change hands like currency and meaningful development only happens on those points of extreme importance. But humanity was different. Each planet totally conquered and developed, totally consumed by the human horde and their slow growing advance in the galaxy. At first, many empires followed their standard procedures, granting gifts in the form of planets near the new species. What a mistake this was. The humans landed on these worlds, and I saw for myself the total conquest. Our small outpost became a city, and then a capital, and then a member of the Terran Republic, a glorified breeding ground for more humans. They reproduced so quickly, every world became overpopulated, and served to justify further expansion. The Casque recognized this threat for what it was, but their simple Imperial war machine was no match for what I learned was called the Military Industrial Complex. When war broke out, the Terrans fruited to full swing. They may have only boasted 30 wells, but each was an industrial powerhouse. Hundreds of warships a month, millions of recruits, and unlike their expansion, they struck swiftly. The poor Casque had their empire gutted and demilitarized under sheer numbers, and became puppets of the humans. Others, like the Mokith and my own kin, the Veltal, tried mimicking the humans to various levels of success. The power structure, nay. The very culture of the galaxy has been forever changed. Gone is the time of empires, and now begins the age of industrial carnage. The age of colonization. The age of humanity.